Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's your buddy, the 14th Prime, and I'm trying to tell you, let me just go ahead. We're just going to get right into it. Here's my review for Transformers 1. No spoilers, nothing that you don't already know from the trailers. But this is, quite frankly, to me, second greatest movie. 86. Why? Because I was born in 76. I saw Transformers when I was eight in the theaters. Again, for you newcomers to the show, why does he love G1 so much? That was the first movie I saw in the theaters. So, yeah. Number one is the 86 movie. Number two, Transformers 1. Only because 48-year-old me enjoyed watching a retelling of an old story. It's not a reboot. I don't care what what is Bayverse. Now that was a surprise. In the credits, this is not this is not a spoiler about the actual movie, but in the credits, Michael Bay is credited as being like one of the directors or producers or something like that. At that point, I didn't care because of what I just watched. Josh Cooley did an amazing job. Chris Helmsworth as Optimus never did it cross my mind. And again, I'm a I'm a OG G Warner. I should hashtag that G G Warner. Um, Chris Helmsworth did an amazing job. Never in my mind throughout the whole movie did I think well, they should have had somebody else. No, everybody everybody played their part. Everybody's played their role. The whole people think that here. Let me debunk some things. For all of you out there that's saying, oh, for the animation uh, or the, the color palette just doesn't seem like it's something I would like. You're showing your age. You're showing your age. What are you color? If you want to watch it in black and white, when it come out, I'll put it on a VHS tape for you and send it to you so you can see it in black and white. Yeah, I know, right? Don't touch it. So with all that being said, stop, stop, stop. With all that being said. The color, I, not once did I go, oh, this is too cartoony or it's too many colors. I, no, no. No, you don't, once it starts, the, I mean, wait, do y'all like black and white movies? Like, are y'all that, how, I thought I was the generation of oldest people that watched Transformers. It, apparently it must be some, some of y'all are a lot older. Cause to say that, oh, the colors are too bright has gotta be for children. What? Some of his favorite shows are in black and white. Okay, not in black and white, but I was exaggerating. The point is, 48-year-old me loved every color in this movie. Everything popped. And it wasn't like one of those, don't touch the button. It wasn't one of those movies where it takes forever. Don't do that. It wasn't one of those movies where it takes forever to start. It didn't take forever. Like, when it started... It started. There was no, oh, uh, they're dragging this part on and they're dragging this part. No, everything moved quite, moved right along. Because you got to figure it's an hour, 40 minutes. So they didn't have that much time to tell this much story. And I, when I tell you, they put a whole lot of story into an hour and 40 minutes. And they touched on a lot. There was a lot of Easter eggs for us old heads. And for you young people. You okay? I heard you hit the door. Uh, it was a lot, a lot, a lot of Easter eggs. Um, what was my favorite part? The whole thing. And do not leave when the movie is over. There are two post-credit scenes. Do not leave the theater. Sit there, watch, let it, uh, and it's long. Now I'm going to go, uh, spoiler, there, I did drop a spoiler, spoiler. It's a lot of credits, but wait until it's over. Reason being, me and my wife, my wife leaned over while we were talking about it, and she was like, hey, they haven't shown this part, you know, from the trailer. No spoilers. So my my personal opinion, nine, nine. It was a nine. It was a nine. And then uh, somebody else, I think um, somebody else had said, I saw where someone was trying to figure out the best way to watch the movies in order. And I would say 86, Transformers 1, Bumblebee, and then one 
I mean, Transformers and the, you know, the rest of us. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Wait. No, 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 no. 86 movie. Please. Then Transformers 1. Oh. <laughs> Are you, I'm, am I taking too much time? 86 movie, Transformers 1. Bumblebee, and then Rise of the Beast, because Rise of the Beast was 84 before he met Sam, 87, 89, wait, yeah, anyway, either or, Transformers 1 was absolutely spectacular, it was amazing, it was more than I thought it was going to be, um, there were parts that I felt as though were unnecessary. Oh, oh, also, if everybody says, oh, this movie's for children, this is this is a kiddie movie, and then I went off because I'm a dad, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think Optimus, you know what I mean, doing the doing that, that part, that's not for kids. I don't want my kid doing that. I want your kid doing it around my kid. Um, the whole Bumblebee alternate name. First time... First time I didn't think it was funny. I mean, it just wasn't. I mean, it, it was. It just caught me off guard when I saw the trailer. Just being honest, just stating facts. Which was, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying it was cool to cuss, and you know, what I mean, but I'm just saying, just, yeah, you know I mean, I know y'all got to do what you got to do to try to sell the movie. By the third time, it's like, come on, man. Now, what I did like about it not being a children's movie. It's death and destruction and death and murder and death in this movie. So if you thinking that this is, oh, I might take my kids and we might, I don't know what kind of household you raising your children in, but this would be the equivalent of like me taking him to go see Saul 6. You know what I mean? Like he don't need to see that at this age, nor for a long time. You know? <laughs> no, no, take it from, I'm a dad. Also, and a fan. So let me put that out there. Rotten Tomatoes. Y'all, y'all. I don't know what movie you went and saw. Y'all must have went and saw Age of Extinction and thought it was Transformers 1. That's y'all crazy. You oh, eat that or you are not a fan. You just, you got paid to say whatever. Probably voted for Biden. But anyways, your buddy, the 14th Prime. Let's make America great again. These guys did wonderful. Wonderful. I'm so glad I picked these up. And yes, I saw the reveal of Sentinel Prime Studio series. Yeah, it's I mean it's not it's not that serious. Which brings me to something else. A lot of people was like, Well, you know, they showed, you know, RC, Ironhide, Sunstreak or so forth, you know what I mean? Jazz, Mirage, Mirage has a toy. If you don't think that Hasbro is not going to milk our pockets for the because of this movie, I see it now. I'm trying to tell you now. I know we and like I and other people have leaked, you know, toys for 2025 and so forth and so on. I tell you this. Mm, look at the name of the new. Oh, that would kind of be a spoiler. The name of the new. Transformers toy line after Legacy is over. Take that. And when you watch the movie, see how many times you hear that same thing. Now, that way I ain't spoil it. Now y'all gotta do homework to figure out what I'm talking about. Take the new line that's after Legacy. Stop! Take the new line that's after Legacy and see how many times you hear that in this movie. You'll understand what I'm saying. Uh... You, we're about to get a cogless RC. We're about to get a cogless Sunstreaker, a cogless Ironhide, a cogless. They could run a whole gimmick off of this toy line where you put like a cube or something, you know, the transforming cog in their chest before it unlocks like the chest to go to go. Hasbro, if y'all do that, give me my money. Run my check. My email is in the description. Uh, this movie was amazing. I've gone on for 10 whole minutes. It's probably going to take three hours for this to upload, but, and I'm giving it to you raw. I'm not editing this. I'm not going to cut it. You ain't going to see my intro, nothing. Thank you for sticking with me if you watch this. 
Uh, once the movie comes out, I will do an Easter egg spoil because I wrote them all down last night. Me and my wife sat on the couch when we got home from it and was like, all right, did you see? Yes, I saw that. You said, what? What happened? No. And yeah, so I got a list and everything for you after the movie is officially revealed because as of right now, none of us can really talk about it. I mean, well, you can if you was. Depends on what kind of channel you got. Shibuya the 14th Prime. I love y'all. Love y'all. I love y'all. Go see this movie. Stop playing. Stop making excuses to not see it. Stop making excuses to not see it. There's every, If you are a fan, you need to see this movie. Some things are changed. Yes. It's not going to be the origin story that everybody wanted, but it's, I mean, it's just a retelling. But it's close enough for us old people to enjoy it enough. Shabuddy 14 Prime.